The other way that we can define how to style elements is through the use of style sheets. So in the uh, previous animation, what I did is I went in the style sheet editor and I edited the uh, global style sheet. And this is the global style sheet. It applies to all of the sections, all of the contexts and everything that you have in your output. So here the highlighted class has a yellow background color and that would be the same as going in each of the elements we want and to add a style with the background color yellow. So you may be wondering what takes precedence when having uh, multiple styles in different locations, either inline or in a style sheet. So let's talk about what's called the order of execution or in the style sheet lingo, cascading style sheet, where the cascading is how styles are applied to your page and its elements. So there is two different orders that we need to consider. The first one is the order of the elements. So when you have a cascading style sheet, the style will affect elements from the top to the bottom or rather from the outside to the inside. What I mean by that, let's say you apply a style that gives an Arial font to your body tag. The body tag is the outmost tag inside of your whole document. So any style that you apply to it will affect anything inside of your uh, template. Let me show you by adding something to the body tag. Inside of your body tag, you have multiple elements. For example, the table at the top that becomes my navigation, if you affect that with a specific style, it'll affect everything inside of it. And this goes on as you get inside of the other elements. Of course, since I added a class to the customer ID and put it as yellow, because it's the innermost element, the background color I apply to it overwrites any of the background colors of any of its parents, the table, the body, anything that's on top of it. So the smaller you are inside of the element, it overrides anything that's in the bigger element. Now the other order that we have to take care of is how different styles or style sheets are evaluated. When you have different style sheets, so here I have the global style sheet that affects everything, and I have a style sheet specific to my print output, the order is defined within the context properties. So what we see here is the list of style sheets as they are evaluated. Now, any style inside of default.css can be overwritten by the one from the uh, global style sheet, then by the one from the print style sheet. And then any style that is inside of the HTML, so inline styles, will overwrite any of the styles in the style sheet. So, by the way, a couple of interesting tips and tricks in regards to style sheets. First of all, it's important to adopt and learn about the style sheet editor if you're not comfortable with editing styles directly. The style sheet editor will show you any style sheet that's active for the currently selected context. So in the case of my print section, I have my global style sheet, which I've already edited for you, and the print style sheet, which affects only the print context. When you create a new CSS rule within your style sheet, it's important to note that you need to first define what this style sheet rule will affect. So this can affect a class, an ID, or an element. Any style or option that you do not change in this rule 
will simply be ignored when the rule is created. So if I don't select a font, if I don't select any styles, it won't add any of these options in order for them not to override styles from higher up. If you know about stylesheet rules, but you don't want to edit the stylesheet directly, you can click on advanced, And when you start typing in a CSS property, it will actually auto-complete for you and give you all the different options. So if I select background color and I put red, it will give you the proper CSS rule on the image selector. Now, what if you have existing style sheets? If you have a CSS file that was given to you by your web developer or your marketing department, all you need to do is to drag it into your style sheets folder, such as the social media CSS that I have already imported. And if you want to apply this CSS to any of your context, you simply drag and drop it directly onto it. What this will do is add the CSS to the include. Simply check it and adds it to the end. And that's it for styles and style sheets.